Look at these boots. Now look at these socks. Now look at the boots again. Now the socks, now the boots, now the socks, back to the boots. What's my point? These boots look like gray socks. It's not a good point, but it is a point. What's going on guys? Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you my review plus on feet video of the brand new raised on concrete colorway of the Nike Mercurial Superfly 6 Elite. Kind of an unusual colorway for this particular shoe, but I have to say I really do like them. So in today's video, we're gonna take a closer look at this particular colorway. We're gonna talk tech specs, performance, as well as take a look at how they fit and feel on feet. Essentially cover everything that you need to know about the latest and greatest Superfly model from Nike. So if you're interested in learning more, please stick around and watch the entire video. And if you're interested in a pair of these for yourself, I'll leave a little pop-up on screen or you can click the first link down below. That'll take you to the review page on my website where you'll find buy it now links with exclusive SR4U coupon codes. Where you'll be able to pick these up below their normal $275 retail price. If you guys do end up enjoying the video, don't forget to support it with a like. And if you're new here watching for the first time, don't forget to hit that subscribe button along with the little bell notification for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. Oh, oh, I don't know what's wrong. Included with the boots is the new silver Nike box that you'll now get with any of the Elite models. For those that care, here's a quick look at the label. Also included with the boots, because this is a top-end model, is a matching string bag, which of course is gray in color with gray strings, has the big Mercurial logo and a Nike swoosh there on the front in what is officially called light crimson. It's kind of like an orangish, reddish, pinkish color. Hard to say exactly what it's supposed to be. Either way, it's actually a pretty good looking string bag, so my string bag rating is a 29 out of 35. So starting off with the colorway, these are particularly unique in that they are mostly light gray, which is a color that we typically don't see for football boots, period. We see white, we see black, gray is typically avoided, or if anything, used as more of a minor accent color. This features full gray for the entire flying and upper, wolf gray to be specific, but you can see up close, it's a couple different shades of gray with gr gray. Glay. The heck is Glay? A couple different shades of gray within the Flyknit weave, which I always like the look of, and it's one of those details that you don't really pick up all that well in most pictures, but in person, it's very, very noticeable. And the reasoning for the gray coloring is because this is the raised on concrete colorway, and concrete typically ends up being gray in color. Has a translucent Nike skin top layer, allowing you to see all of the gray underneath. Gray for the collar as well, laces included. And then you're gonna find a light crimson accent color. So you can see they opted again for the small swoosh at the toe rather than the larger swoosh on the lateral side of the shoe like we saw for the Just Do It Pack World Cup boots. I think the large swoosh on the side just looks better, but honestly on this colorway, it doesn't look too bad. And I think part of the reason as to why that is, is they kept things very simple going with just two colors, the gray and this light crimson, which actually ends up looking more red on the upper and then more orangish red on the sole plate. Big swoosh on the medial side, your Flyknit and ACC branding in that same color. You got the M logo here on the back, which is a little bit of a silver color, slightly shiny, and then the outline and mercurial branding in more light crimson. Superfly 360 in red on the tongue, um, or I guess the front of the collar. Inside of the collar is that same color as well. And then of course the split sole, the two stud plates are that light crimson color as well. But this does not have a wearable finish, which is definitely notable over pretty much every other colorway of the Superfly 6 Elite that has come out so far. It's just the coloring of the plastic, so nothing is going to wear away over time. And then something that is a little bit more noticeable because of the coloring of this boot is all of the reflective detailing here across the bottom as well as the back. Those stripes that you can very faintly see are fully reflective and it's a pretty cool effect when you take a picture using the flash. Overall though, really love the look of this colorway. Probably one of my personal favorites of the new Mercurial generation so far, but let me know what you guys think of them down below in the comments. Now, when it comes to performance, I think most people, including myself, would make the argument that the Mercurial Superfly 6 Elite is one of the best speed boots on the market. And speed boot is more of a loose marketing term. I think when you're talking about boots that offer a barefoot feel, a really snug kind of tight 
tighter wrap around your foot, responsiveness, aggressive traction, and of course, a lightweight sensation as well. This offers all of that in a package that I think is top notch. You're really not gonna find too many boots that ultimately perform better than this particular shoe. Of course, you do have the option of going for the Vapor 12 Elite, which is essentially the exact same shoe in a low cut form factor. But if you prefer the look and feel of having that mid cut collar, you do have the option at 275 rather than 250 in the Superfly 6 Elite. Now I've talked about this shoe many times on the channel before. Most of you guys know what's going on. Full fly knit upper, one piece design, a lot more simple versus what we had from the first two generations of fly knit superflies, which honestly I think is for the better. Completely redesigned at the rear, where it fits and feels more like a low cut shoe, but still maintains the mid cut look and feel to a certain extent, which again I think is an improvement. The split sole design, which is kind of controversial, but honestly I don't think feels that different than what we had before. Anatomic sole plate, and the most aggressive firm ground stud pattern on the market right now. That kind of summarizes the Superfly 6 Elite. So I don't want to go over all the details again in another video, but if you do want to learn more about the Superfly 6 Elite and how it compares directly to the Vapor 12, I'm going to leave a little pop-up on screen to the playtest video that I did back when the Superfly 6 first came out. You get to see the shoes in action and I go over everything that you need to know about the way that they fit, feel, and perform. So if you haven't seen that video, be sure to go ahead and check it out. So as you can see, I swapped out the stock gray laces for some red reflective SR4U replacement laces, which perfectly accent all of the light crimson, which ends up looking like a red accents on the upper. Plus you get the reflective bits, which I think look quite cool and your shoes don't end up looking like big gray socks. Either way, if you're interested in some replacement laces for yourself, the website to go to is www.sr4ulaces.com. There'll be a little pop-up on screen as well as a link down below in the description. So if you're interested in a pair, be sure to go ahead and check that out. On feet, I really do feel like the Superfly 6 Elite is the most comfortable Superfly Nike has ever put out, both out of the box as well as once they're broken in. They've changed up the shape in comparison to the last couple generations of Mercurial, where the last one I think in particular was really narrow and really low volume. This one they've widened up slightly and they've increased the volume, which some people like, some people don't like. I personally like this a lot more. They fit me at least a little bit better than the old ones did. Plus again, I just find them more comfortable overall. The flying and upper definitely will soften up as you wear them in. So expect there to be some kind of a break in time, but definitely not as significant of a break in time as we found with previous Mercurials, especially given that this is a mid cut and it doesn't have the same construction in the heel area as the last two mid cut super flies. And that they've just changed the construction entirely where these feel more like low cut shoes. So out of the box comfort, like I said, is a huge improvement over previous generation Superfly models. As far as the overall fit is concerned, because it is a Mercurial, obviously you expect it to have a very tight kind of barefoot sensation, and you get that still. It wraps your foot very closely. There's really no extra space on the inside of the boots, even though they have increased the volume ever so slightly. So if you have really wide feet, Probably not the best option for you, and if you don't like tight-fitting shoes in general, I'd stay away from the Mercurial line overall. But I think most people, as long as you like that tight fit, these will fit you quite comfortably. And as far as sizing is concerned, I'm wearing my usual size 9.5 US. My feet are about a 9.25, and, and the fit and the length is pretty much perfect. So if you are looking to order a pair for yourself, I would strongly recommend going true to size in order to achieve the best possible fit. So in conclusion, is the Superfly 6 Elite worth your $275? It is basically one of the most expensive boots on the market, but honestly, if you're looking for a mid-cut speed boot, this really is, in my opinion, the best option out there right now. It's responsive, it fits extremely well, it offers aggressive traction, it's lightweight, it offers a premium barefoot feel. It really is a unique package overall in regards to what it has on offer. Also, if we are comparing it to the Superfly 5, which a lot of you guys might be wearing right now and are wondering if it's worth the upgrade, 
For me personally, I much prefer the Superfly 6 over the Superfly 5. And if I'm comparing it to previous Mercurials even further back, this is a lot more like what we had with the Superfly 4 versus what we had with the Superfly 5, which was kind of a completely different design versus that initial Flyknit Superfly. I realize I've said Superfly a lot of times in this conclusion, but I'm gonna say it one more time. I really think that the Superfly 6 Elite is worth your time. Anyways, guys, that is it for my review. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to support it with a like. Again, if you're interested in a pair of these for yourself, you can click the first link down below. That'll take you to the review page on my website where you'll find Buy It Now links with exclusive SR4U coupon codes. Where you'll be able to pick these up below their normal $275 retail price. If you have any questions, as always, leave them down below in the comments, and I'll do my best to get an answer out to you as soon as I possibly can. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information linked down below in the description as well. Other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching.